Now, this is the one that I've been waiting for because you guys know my pigmentation has been on my face for forever. And legitimately, nothing I have used has gotten rid of it. So I am hoping and praying that this is going to work, okay? <laughs> Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akisha. One of the most unfortunate aspects of having persistent acne for a number of years is the post-inflammatory pigmentation that is left behind. And if you are someone with deeply melanated skin, you get this twofold. Now, I do currently have a lot of pigmentation and scarring left behind on my face from when I suffered from severe acne. So now I'm trying everything I can to get rid of that pigmentation. So recently I was sent the Dr. V Facial Hyperpigmentation Kit to try. This was gifted to me, but of course my thoughts and opinions are my own. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys updates for one month, six months, maybe nine months even, cause it's gonna take a bit of time to see a difference with this product. But I'm gonna share my journey with you guys and see whether this kit really works. In today's video, we're gonna be covering a little bit about the products themselves, as well as diving into some of my experience since I have been using it for a little over a month already. So if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. my little tablet in front of me with all the information. So this is the facial pigmentation kit from Skincare by Dr. V. Now this kit comes with two products. This kit is supposed to work like a duo. So use the HPC for two days in a row and on the third night you use the other one. You're supposed to alternate like that. This kit is a little pricey. It does retail for 110 pounds and in Canadian dollars that would be around 160. So kind of pricey but if you're comparing it going to an actual clinic and getting a procedure done multiple times versus getting a kit it can be a little bit more cost effective if it works. But like I said in this specific instance these were gifted to me. Let's talk a little bit about the brand. Now I'm sure Skincare by Dr. V needs little to no introduction because that's probably the reason why you clicked on this video. But the line was created by Dr. Vanita Ratan, who is a doctor as well as a uh, cosmetic formulator. She creates videos here on YouTube targeted at people for medium to dark skin tones, people of color, and helps us deal with our melanin. She also is the owner of the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and they treat all different types of pigmentation cases and people of color. So love that, of course. It is a smaller skincare brand. I believe she launched the brand last year um, with her first lip pigmentation kit which I was so fortunate to receive as well. I'm, I'm very excited to, to try this out. <laughs> Let's get into the products. So the first product is the HPC Clear Cream. Now there are a lot of skin brighteners and terosinase inhibitors in this concoction here. Okay, so first it has alpha arbutin. It has retinol, retinol palmitate. It has vitamin E, uh, vitamin C as well, sodium ascorbol. It has kojic acid, licorice root, salicylic acid in here as well to help with some of that anti-inflammatory and a tons of other different antioxidants. So one thing to note about her products specifically, these are formulated with a base of shea butter from what I can see as well as the texture just feeling the product as well. Deeply melanated skin is definitely prone to getting reactions to products that can be irritating to the skin. So of course these products are formulated without any fragrance, without any alcohols, essential oils, and known known no known irritants. So that's music to my ears as someone with very sensitive skin. I'm going to apply it the same way that I do my retinol, which is just dot it all over the skin. I'm also gonna go under the chin as well. With something like this, the less layers that you put on your skin, the better, and that's why I literally just use two things, a toner and a moisturizer, and that was it. And it applies really smoothly, just like a retinol does. So that is it for the HPC Clear tonight. I'm gonna use this one tomorrow as well, as instructed. And then on the third day, I'm gonna pop back in to share with you guys the Vita ACE. They also leave a really nice texture to the skin. They're not super oily. They're not greasy at all. Um, I would say that this would be like a serum step. Not a serum, but like before your moisturizer, you would want to apply this product. But I would still definitely recommend using a moisturizer with this product, even if it's just a little bit. 
because retinol does tend to be drying, especially when you first start using it. So see how it goes, see how your skin reacts to it. For me, I still do use a moisturizer. The second product is the Vita ACE Cream that comes with 15 milliliters of product. Now in this, um, a lot of the ingredients that we mentioned before are also in this one. I'm just trying to see what is the difference between the two creams. So the premise of these products, like I said before, is to alternate. Looking through the ingredients, I'm just trying to figure out why. Um, now the bulk of what you're going to get in here is from the HPC Clear because that's the one that has all the key ingredients. It seems like it's more of a conditioner to your skin with a little bit more retinol. I believe that may be the difference, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that's what I seem, it, what it seems to be the difference. It is the third night, so we're gonna go in with the Vita ACE treatment. So, on first inspection, it smells like, it doesn't really have a scent. I mean, there is something there, but it's like a generic cream. There's no added fragrance, which I love, you guys know. And it feels really creamy. So I'm just gonna put this on, as I normally do, around the different areas that need it and we're going to massage it in. Okay, so it's a bit thicker than the other one. This one's more of a, like a moisturizer texture. It's a bit thicker than the previous one, but it spreads very nicely. This is like a really nice, um, thick moisturizer almost. But even though it's thick, it almost feels like the, what can I compare this to? It doesn't leave that greasy, thick feeling on your face. It actually soaks in quite nicely. It just melts into the skin. And the way that it finishes, it reminds me of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. The way how this finishes on the skin, although it's thick, it's like, it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or like, oily or anything, which I do enjoy combination, you know, it already. All right, well, I'm going off to bed and I will see you guys in the next two weeks for an update. On the website, it also gives directions for using these products. Now with skincare in general, I would definitely recommend applying it on your face at least two hours before going to bed because if you don't, then your products are just gonna end up on your pillow and we don't want that. And it also emphasizes to make sure that you apply SPF. So the SPF that I am currently using, um, you guys know is my favorite. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion for Face and Body with 30 SPF. I do have a review video where I talk about this product already on my channel, so click it up above. Um, this is my favorite one. This is just mine of choice. It also does state that if you are currently experiencing any acne on your skin, active breakouts, open lesions, do not use this product. If your skin is experiencing flare-ups for eczema, so on and so forth, this is definitely not the one to use. Now in terms of exfoliation, if you are someone who is going to be still using exfoliator, I personally am still using exfoliator while I'm using these products, just make sure that you're using it on a night when you're not using the kit. So so for example, you would use it for the three day cycle. On the fourth day, don't use it and use an exfoliator instead. So for example, go through your three day cycle with your products. And then on the fourth day, don't use the kit, use your exfoliator instead. And then on the fifth day, you continue with your three day cycle again, restarting it. So that's what I would recommend. That's what I personally do. When will you see a difference in your skin? That is a very good question. And that's a question that I would like to know as well. Um, generally speaking, when it comes to anything that you're doing with your skin, it takes at least two to three skincare cycles to see a difference. I have a video talking about this already, so I'll link it up above, but it takes time for your skin to get reprogrammed in a way with products, it takes a long time. It does. And that's that's just, it's, it's not the answer that anyone wants to hear, but it is the truth. So you can expect this kit to take at least six months to see an improvement in the scarring on your face. The kits themselves, they generally last around three months. So the website does recommend picking up two kits to make it last the six months and, and more if you need longer time to see a difference on your skin. What side effects can you expect with this product? Another great question. Um, with this, it does actually say it on the website that you may experience a little bit of dryness. You are using retinol in this kit that tends to dry out the skin. So you can expect a bit of that. You can also expect a bit of purging as well because that's what retinol does to your skin too. Whenever you are including retinol in your routine, these are some of these side effects that just can happen. Now they are rare, but it is possible. You can have a bit of redness on your face. You can experience a little bit of swelling as well. Um, if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, really the more severe side of the um, 
the purging spell I call it from retinol then ease back on the products a little bit maybe stop it for around three days or so see how your skin is doing and just kind of use it um, less or use less of the product but of course always if you are experiencing really bad side effects to this product or any other products stop using it on to my experience like I said I've been using this for about a month on my skin so initially when I got this kit, I of course did a patch test on my arm to see how it would work and I did not get any irritation. I did this patch test for both products for three days each and I didn't see any issues on my skin. So once we did that, I was ready to start using it on my face. Before using this product, I was using the Retinol from La Roche-Posay. So I have completely stopped using that on my face and now I'm using this instead. This is actually why I slowed down on posting some of my sunscreen videos because when you're introducing a new product, especially something as heavy and dense as this type of kit, you don't want to be introducing more and more products on top of that. So I slowed down with my sunscreen videos. Now that my skin has gotten a little bit more used to the kit, I'm okay adding different products into my routine now in terms of the sunscreens. So we'll be seeing some more videos on that. So initially I did experience a little bit of dryness on my face. Now this, like I said, is to be expected. Um, I've definitely tried retinol before for a very long time. I know how this goes. So my skin was feeling a little bit dry. First of all, I'll say that my skin has definitely been really clear and smooth and super bright and I'm loving how my skin is feeling and looking currently. Um, in terms of dark spots, it's only been like, what, two weeks? So I haven't really seen much difference there. I have started to purge though, just a tiny bit. Little disclaimer, I am about a week out to my period, so it's coming soon. And this is typically when I start to get hormonal breakouts. So I do have one appearing on my chin guys can see and I think there's one underneath my yeah right here underneath my chin and I had one come up but it went away super quick and it's left a little bit of a dark mark though so we'll see how that starts to lighten up too I did use just a thicker moisturizer at night as well as actually I put Vaseline on those dry areas I also did experience purging I purged I think three times um, using this kit so far Right now my purging is done, so my skin looks clear again, but I did purge three times. Today is May 2nd. I just woke up and I haven't even washed my face yet, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm starting to purge again. Then my forehead. We still have a spot here. It's still quite dark, but yeah, that's what we look like right now. Beyond that, I haven't gotten any further scarring, so it could just be from the, you know, my skin freaking out from me using a different product. That could be the case. I did notice that the pimples that I was getting, of course, during purging went away really quickly, so I didn't have a problem with that. Um, and now my skin dryness is pretty much under control once again. Your skin does fluctuate when you add new things, but it's, it's pretty much settled down. Guys, so today is May 16th. Obviously, I just woke up, you guys can tell by the sound of my voice, but I wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. So here is what we are looking like. Once again, my skin is incredibly smooth. I don't have any breakouts, just finished my period, so this is when my skin looks amazing. She's very smooth, very moisturized and hydrated. No irritation bumps. I did have a little bit on my forehead, um, but I think that was just purging since it was there as well as on my chin. I'm happy with the fact that my skin looks good. Um, I'll give you a full, I'm in natural lighting, I'm in, in, in my kitchen. Like I definitely see that my forehead is light, but I think it just was light before. I'm probably gonna have to look back at the footage to really see if there's a difference. But so far I haven't seen anything crazy um, in terms of the fading of the dark. We'll see what happens. I'm looking for this area of my face to lighten. I have some really dark scarring here on my cheeks. That's where I predominantly broke out. So if that gets a little bit lightened, I'm gonna be happy with this. That is our overview for today. I'll be giving you guys an update in two months. So that would be August, I believe. Sure. Um, so expect a video around then talking about my three month updates of these products. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Is this something that you want to try? Is this something that you have tried? I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on this. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Make sure you stay gorgeous, fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.